Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to bring back your navigation by going forward and backwards. Okay, so currently in Moodle 4.0, you can't use the next activity, the previous activity or the next activity, but I'll show you how to bring these buttons, the next button and the previous button back within your Moodle courses. Any activity that you click on, you can go to, but the previous and the next buttons will also be there. Let me show you how this is done. To accomplish this, let's go to Moodle.org. Click on plugins. And then in your search bar, type in boost union. Okay, so we'll be using this theme. So let's click on the theme. Make sure you download the correct version. I'm on 4.1, so I'll click on download. I'll go back to my Moodle site. Click on site administration. Click on plugins and then install plugins. I'll upload this plugin and then click on install plugin from zip file. I'll go through the installation process make sure that my server meets the environment and then upgrade my Moodle database. I'll click on continue. I'll leave everything as is and I'll scroll down right to the bottom and click on save. Okay, let's close this and let's close this. Okay, so let's go to Appearance and then just make sure that the theme was installed and there's the theme. Okay, so let's go to our course so on our homepage. I'll go to my ICT course. Here's my course. Now the aim is here to grab when we go into the activity right at the bottom, we want to click either next or previous activity. Okay, currently we can't do this in Moodle 4.0 onwards. But in Moodle 3.11, we could do that. Okay, so let's restore it to that. I'll go to my course settings. Let's scroll down and click on appearance. And here you'll see we don't have an option to change the theme. So how do we do that? We go to site administration. Then under appearance, we click on theme settings and then scroll down to where it says allow course themes. You'll see here allow course themes. I'll select that option and I'll click on save changes. There we go. We can close this and just refresh this. Okay. So now when we click on appearance, you'll see there's force theme. Select the drop down list and select boost union. We'll scroll down and click on save. And now you see it adopts that particular theme. So if we scroll down now and click on an activity, let's see nothing's happened yet. There's no forward button or no next button or no back button, nothing. Okay, it's still as is. Let's go to site administration, click on appearance, and then click on the boost union theme. You'll see there's different options, the look, the feel, the content and functionality and flavors. Okay, so let's click on the Boost Union theme. You'll see we were first presented with the theme presets. If we scroll down, there's raw CSS, page width. Here we can set the page width. We can even upload a logo, a compact logo, then a favicon. We can choose a background image, choose our colors. If we scroll down more, Activity icon purpose. There's an assignment. Okay. So we'll leave everything as is. Then activity icons. We can enable custom icons for activities and resources. It's currently set to no. We can set it to yes. And we can choose an icon here. Okay. Then login page. We can change the display text for login background images. We can change. Also, the login form, we can change the header, we can change course header, 
Corsair image height, the Corsair image position. Okay, then the introduction. We scroll further down. Font Awesome, Raw, CSS, and then the fill. Okay, so here we go. So the primary navigation is height nodes in primary navigation. We can set that. Breadcrumbs we can set. And now navigation back to the top. We can choose whether we want a button for back to the top. Scroll spy and then activity navigation elements. Okay, so let's choose yes. Now this will add those activity navigation elements. We can scroll down and look even further for settings. So this is really a nice theme. So let's scroll down to the bottom, click on save. Let's go to our course. Let's refresh this. And now you'll see, you can see there, there's my back button. There's my next button. Uh, my next activity is a video introduction. Video introduction. My previous activity was the learning survey. There's the learning survey. And now I'm able to go to the next activity. What's the first activity? Then I'll be able to go to the previous activity or go to the next activity on this page. Okay, so now students don't have to complain. They can't go back and forward uh, while they're in the particular activity.